Hey guys and welcome to my channel. So like most of you, I have been home for the past several months. Of course, since this whole quarantine happened, I realized what is essential and what is important. And also, I realized that I don't really need so much. And so that is what sort of sparked this idea of starting a decluttering series, starting with my bag collection, which I will be doing today. And yeah, I think it should be fun. Hopefully it will be easy, but I'm not really sure because I sort of attach fond memories to my bags and that is mainly why it is hard to part from them. But hopefully I get to edit out and declutter uh, as much as I can. And yeah, I, I really don't know what to feel at this point, but I think I really need to edit and declutter because clutter is just something that messes up with your mental health. It just holds a lot of negative energy, I think. And because of clutter, you don't really get to use the things that you love. And so, yes, I think it's time to do one. And yeah, I hope you can join me. And let's declutter my bag collection together. Hey guys, so I just put all my bags in one area here in my living room just so I have enough space and I am just shocked because I didn't realize how many bags I actually have. I mean, I always assumed I had like enough, like just enough, like a medium sized amount, but I never bothered to count. So I am just shocked at how many bags I am looking at right now and I think it is high time that I declutter because I don't really use these bags often or a lot. I mean, of course, these days we don't really need bags, right? But uh, I think at this point, I can do without this many bags. Let me show you. Okay, so I've, I've managed to categorize my bags. These are like the beach bags that I have and they're quite a lot. Uh, these are local brands that uh, I, I actually love and support. And these are the designer bags that I have collected. I have some I have some evening bags over here. These are from my grandmother. I, I was able to save them when she passed away. And these are acrylic bags that they look really good when I'm wearing like a nice gown. And yeah, this is the damage that I have made through the decades. It's a lot. And there's more over here. Uh, these are like beach bags and my big bags that I bring to the beach and when I travel. And yeah, I am not very excited to go through them because I sort of still love all of these, but I have to admit I have too much. I have too many, I have too many bags. Okay guys, so these are all my bags behind me and I have some over there that I just showed you. And I hope this doesn't come off as like an episode of hoarders. I have accumulated so much and I did not realize it until now. Of course, I work in fashion. I am a social media influencer. That's why I always get gifted bags. And I feel, I also think that's why I feel the need to buy bags because of course I have so many outfits that I need to wear and each bag has to match that outfit. But I, this is really ridiculous, I think, because I don't really, at this point in time, I think it's all about the essentials and uh, whittling down to what I really need. And I don't need these many bags for sure. Gosh, I'm just shocked because, I mean, I'm sort of doing like the Marie Kondo method that I read a book, of course, and she suggested that you just put all, uh, all your things in, by category, like, 
clothes, bags, shoes in one space so you can get shocked, I guess, and see the amount that you have, the, the amount of, of things that you've accumulated. And this is really an eye-opener for me. I have just kept buying and buying bags for many, many years. And also, I, I have also been gifted bags for many, many years. And as much as I want to keep them all, of course, I don't really want to disappoint the brands that have given me these bags. I can't keep all of them because my main problem actually is storage space and I was actually thinking of converting Tristan's room into my closet because he sleeps with us but then what happens when he grows up then he won't have a room of his own and it's just to store my things it's just things right and yeah I think I have made the right decision to just declutter declutter the bags that I don't use I don't need so they will go to a better home and yeah, I'm actually very excited to have the space, to have the space in, in this house. I mean, it, we don't really have a small house, it's like a medium-sized house. I don't really have a walk-in closet of my own, but I have been stealing everyone else's closet space and I don't think that's fair. And it's just to house my things and I don't really get to use my things anyway. And so, it's time to declutter. Gosh, where do I start, right? And I think I should start with my beach bags because I really love going to the beach and I think buying them reminds me of good times at the beach. And I really get to use them actually before, back, back when I used to travel because I used to go to the beach like maybe 30 times a year. Like it was like my second home, like we would just drive drive to the beach. Of course, we live in the Philippines. It's a tropical country. We can drive to the beach. We can fly. Take a one-hour flight and we are in paradise. And that is why I think I have accumulated so many beach-themed bags. And also, I love beach bags because they don't really go out of style. That's why I managed to keep a lot of them because there's no trend when it comes to beach bags. Really, I mean, I can wear beach bags from like 10 years ago and they can serve me just as well as the beach bags that I, I bought just this year. But I can't keep all of them, right? <laughs> I really don't have the space. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so this is my beach bag pile and I'm gonna go through them one by one randomly, I guess. So this one is actually such a cutie. I get to wear it all the time, actually. And I love how small it is. It's very cute. And it's by a local brand. This is staying because I love the size. I love how small it is. And actually before I was into bigger beach bags. This is nice for like evenings out. This one is a basket bag from Aranaz. And it is so cute. I think I saw it before. It was like a throwback photo. Back in the 60s or 70s, Jane Birkin was carrying something like this. And it inspired me to get this bag. This is staying. It's so cute. This one is like a regular rectangular rattan bag and it is not so spacious actually. Um, I don't think I need something like this because I have others. So this can go to the go pile. This one I am quite torn about. This is from Zara One. It is actually very cute and when I posted this, so many people bought this bag. And it is a jeepney bag, of course, and it is so unique. It is in the color pink. But the thing is with this, it's hard to put things inside because it is so rigid. This is the space that you have to work with and there is no room for it to expand. It's quite small inside. It sort of makes this a maybe for me, but it is so cute. And I always get a lot of compliments when I wear this. Next up is this bag. It's like a bamboo clutch. Well, you can hold it like this. This is sort of like the cult Gaia version, but this is uh, locally made with bamboo. And yeah, I love how light it is. And this is really so pretty. All the girly outfits go well with this one, so it's safe. This bag is from a local brand called Vesta. And this is really such a beautiful bag. Whenever I wear this, so many people stop and talk to me and, and ask where it's from. Because as you can see, uh, it is beaded. It's beautifully beaded and it is made of a traditional woven material. It's very Filipino 
and it's sort of like a basketball. Actually, you can use this as a weapon if you go out because it's quite heavy and sturdy. The only thing that sort of bothers me whenever I wear this is that when you close it sometimes, the chain gets trapped like this and it's hard to close. And when you fill this up with things, it opens on its own. Like I have taken this out and some people have told me like your bag is open. So I wish there were like a double lock for this, like sort of like a clasp instead of just this this um, enclosure it is a stunner for sure and I love using this next up is this bag it's sort of like tortoise shell inspired it has a strap it is quite heavy I don't really get to use this I prefer to use this bag this is my go-to bag so this is staying and this can go Next, we have this round Bali bag. I say Bali bag because when I went to Bali, it was everywhere. And this became quite a thing for a time. And uh, a lot of people were selling this online. It is quite cute, but I don't really get to wear this anymore. So I think this will go. Next up is this bag from Aranas. And I love this bag. It is uh, made of these shells and it's really so pretty. Perfect size for everyday use. You can use it like this and it comes with a strap beside. And it becomes a crossbody bag, so this is staying for sure. Circular bags were a thing maybe like two or three years ago. And I actually had way more, like I had 10 and then I just chose two. And these were the ones that I ended up with, this black one and this uh, natural color one. And I think that they are just what I need for going to the beach. At least I have a black one and I have like natural weave color one. This one is from Arenas. I love this bag, but it's also hard to sort of Tetris your, your things inside. You really have to position them in a way that they fit. It is really so cute. I really love this bag and I don't think I can let go of this. This one is a circular bag. It is super roomy. As you can see, you can put so many things. I stuffed it because when I laid it flat before, it got deformed. So you really need to put like something inside. I think this will go to my maybe pile. It's cute, but I'm not super in love with it. Next up, we have this one. It is very cute. Okay, so my worry with this one, although it is very cute, is that the leather is not real. It's made of this faux leather. And based on experience, my faux leather bags just fall apart after a few years. Like they start peeling, they start like disintegrating. And that's what I'm fearful for. I don't have any design like this. And I love the top handle and and I love it. it's boxy design. It's very cute, so I'm keeping it because it's cute. But I'm hoping that it stays with me for longer than just a few years. We have this bag from Arenas and it is the cutest, girliest bag ever. I love the beads all around it. It just makes it so special and whenever I wear this, compliments, compliments. And it is so pretty keeping this. Okay, this one is a new one and I haven't worn it yet. But I think I have to make use of it first. It is very cute. When you open it, it has a zip compartment and it is really well made. It's so cute. It's another one from Aranas. The thing about it is I don't really like the color because it's orange. But I love the combination of orange and green. But it kind of reminds me of Halloween. So maybe this can find a better home. Okay, so this is from another local brand called Vesta. It is the same brand as this one. Both have a similar very traditional look, right? But it's still very modern. This is really pretty. I love how the lock is more secured. With this one, you have to press it for you to open and it, it is a box bag with a mirror inside. You can store a lot of things inside. You have many options of wearing it because of the strap, different straps that come with it. It has a clasp to remove each strap if you don't want to use it. This is staying for sure. Okay, next is this big bag. And these are made in Colombia. I love the weave design. It sort of reminds me of Missoni. 
and it is really well made and actually I haven't used this in the beach yet I just used it for a photo shoot so this is staying because I need to make use of it this one this is very cute it is a shoulder bag and you can put a lot of things inside actually this pom-pom design is also very cute I find it cute but I never reach for it so I think this can go to a better home is this giant beach bag from Aranaz and it has these cute shells. This is really cute. It houses all my dust bags. Everyone needs a big beach bag. When you're at the beach, you need to put your towels, your sunscreen, and all the other stuff. And this is staying. It's cute. Next, we have this beaded bag. It is so cute. It is just a little bit heavy. The brand is called From Blanc. The only thing is, sometimes my things come out. Like, they, they fall out. Like, sometimes my lipstick falls out. But it's okay. Like, I just have to put, like, bigger things to cover the smaller things. It's a cute bag. And I love that it just glitters when I wear it. Okay, next is this bag from Aranaz. And it has so many shelves all around it. I think it is cute. It is so gorgeous. I think this would be nice for like a garden wedding or a beach wedding. Next up is this bag. It is a box bag. I got it from Mango some years ago. It's sort of like a treasure box. I can't fit my phone inside though. Too cute to let go. Next I have this one. It is in this orange color. It is a clutch bag and it has it has the zipper. This will go to the maybe pile because I, I'm not really into orange so much. This one is from Aranaz and it is it can be a clutch but you can put your essentials inside. It has a K and it's personalized so I'm keeping it. This one from February Lifestyle. I think this is so cute. It has ants, ants all over it. And this is just so unique. Uh, it has three compartments here. And you can put a lot inside. I've had this for a few years now, but I still love it. I love it just as much because I get to use it all the time. So I still have a few more to go. This one I got from Nisi the Label. This was actually a trend for a while but I'm not really sure if I am in love with it. It is so cute though and yeah, I'll put this on the maybe pile. Next we have this one and I actually found this in an old Balikbayan box and I love how, how 90s it looks. Keeping this. This one was actually a giveaway and I love it. I love the size and whenever I wear it, actually people look and they smile at me. I love how simple it looks. It's just a handheld bag, but you can store a lot inside. Next up, we have two bags from Nissi the Label, and they're in black and white. This is really perfect. They are staying because I haven't used them. Okay, so I have a lot of Colombian weave bags, and they are just so pretty. I really love the. I have it in every size. I have this small size, medium. But the material they use is thick. I've used this at the beach and this is just perfect. And then I have a tiny one. It is. It was a gift from a friend, Kat Wan. This one is from Nissi the Label and it's sort of like a giant coin purse. This is thing. This one is one of my favorite going out bags. It is a pineapple, of course. I love the material that was used. I really love it. I can take it from day to night, but I can't fit my phone. That's the only thing. And then I have this one. It is a cute, tiny bag, and it is also it also has a crossbody strap. This is staying because it's so cute. Hey guys, so behind me are all my designer bags, and I'm gonna go through them one by one. Okay, so I guess we'll start from the lightest color to the darkest color. This one is definitely a keeper. This is the Saint Laurent Sac de Jour in the baby size. And I recently featured this in my last video and it's a definite yes for me. I love this bag so much. Okay, next is this bag from Furla. And this was actually gifted to me because I did a project for them. While I love this bag, it does remind me of another bag. I think they are too similar, although the color is different. It makes me think twice about keeping this because I already have my Louis Vuitton Alma BB. I do think though that this will suit my mom. She's been looking for a bag like this, so I might just give this to her. 
So yeah, so I'll probably give this to my mom. And since I already showed this to you guys, let me talk about this. This is the Louis Vuitton Alma Mini, and I got this some months ago. However, I've only used it a couple of times only. I'm not sure why. This is supposed to be really versatile, but I haven't really been reaching for it. And it's really strange, but it is super cute. Like every time I look at it, I smile. And so I know that this will stay in my collection forever. Although it looks small, you can really fit a lot in it because of its shape. Okay, so next we have this bag from Longchamp and I got this after doing a project for them. This is such a pretty bag. I chose it in this color specifically because I don't really have this color. I find this really cute. It is in this smooth leather. It's very carefree, like it doesn't scratch or anything. And I love that it is in the, the silver hardware. I'm going to go ahead and ask my mom and my sister-in-law if they like it. If not, then it will stay in my collection, of course. Okay, so next up is this recent purchase. This is, of course, a Bottega Veneta. And I got it in Spain on my recent uh, Europe trip. And I really love this bag so much. I actually slept with this on the first night that I got it. It smells so good and it is so slouchy and so soft. And it is like such such a good buy. It's buttery leather and I love the way it folds. It is just such a cute bag. It does seem like it's a bit trendy, but Bottega Veneta has been making bags like this for a very, very long time. And so I don't think it's that trendy. Of course, I'm keeping this. Next up is this bag from Dan Celente. You can wear this bag in so many ways. You can wear it like this. Or you can use the straps and wear it crossbody. This is a mini size. You can't really put a lot inside. You kind of have to figure out uh, a way to, to fix your things. The leather is smooth and it's so structured, but it's very carefree. Like I've used this already like several times and it doesn't really show like any scratches. Maybe like super hairline scratches. Nothing stands out and I love this bag because it's so unique and the stitching is so pretty. Like I love the shape. It's unlike any other bag that I have. It has a unique shape and it's just so pretty. I'm definitely keeping this. Okay, next up is my Loewe puzzle bag in the size medium and I will never ever let go of this bag. I can imagine me wearing this bag until I'm 80 years old and this is such a cute bag. It has a thick strap comes with a thick strap it's in here and I actually bought another strap for it it's like a black and white strap that when I wear it it's just so cool and so cute I love the shape I love the way it just fits everything like I usually use this for travel and it's like a boxy bag it can fit so much it's like in the size medium and it can fit all my things all the things that I ever need definitely keeping this Okay, so next is the Louis Vuitton Speedy 30. I did a whole video like a year and a half ago about this. My first bag ever was the Louis Vuitton Speedy in the Damier Azure. And I sold it because I wasn't using it that much. And of course, I ended up regretting my decision. And so I ended up buying another one. But this time in the monogram. And although I don't really get to use it as much, I still love this bag. This is, this is always going to be a classic for me. So yes, this is a keeper for sure. A replacement for my first bag ever and keeping this. Okay, next up is this leather fringe backpack from Rebecca Minkoff. I have so many memories attached to this. I always traveled with this. I brought it around Europe twice and I always felt so cool wearing this. It has like a boho style and it's so slouchy and I love it. I don't think I can let go of this even though sometimes like since I don't really get to use it often I think of selling it but then I might regret it and so I think I better just keep it in my collection. Okay so next is this bucket bag from Mansour Gabrielle. I got this pre-loved and I'm glad that I actually got it pre-loved because I got it at a super good price and I got it from Fashion File, of course. And this bag is cute. It ha it's cute. It goes with a lot of my outfits. However, it is very difficult to open and close this. Like, you really have to, like, open it uh, to get your things. And closing it, it's such a chore to close it. Like, you really have to go like this. 
and then go like this and your bag has to be on something when you do it it's on my maybe pile i don't like the fact that uh this comes undone when you're walking and people can just grab stuff from your bag so that's not a good thing you can really get robbed with this bag so you have to be careful okay next up is this military inspired backpack from alexander wang this is a purchase that I made some years ago, I, it's very military inspired. I really wanted the all leather one, but I couldn't find it. Uh, so I found this nylon one, and I guess this is a lighter version. It's, it's a cute bag, it's very slouchy, it's very soft. All around it, the piping is all soft, soft leather. Like the straps are soft leather. And you can convert this bag in many ways. You can wear it as a backpack, you can wear it as a shoulder bag, as a sling bag. It comes with all the straps. It's cute, but uh, I think this looks kind of dated. But I'm just gonna wait and see. Maybe this will come back. I mean, the military trend always comes back. I was thinking of selling this, but I might just regret it. And so, not sure. I think I might keep it. Or I'm gonna post this and if anyone buys it then good but if not then I will just keep it okay next up is this Fendi a mama baguette I am so happy with this purchase this is one of uh, my best purchases from the secondhand market and I am just so happy this is from the 90s but I was able to get a very good one there are no splitting on the strap I've seen some that uh, this part just splits open. Some that have a lot of rips or tears. I was able to use it all around Europe and it just matched my entire wardrobe. I was so shocked. I'm so happy I got it in this bigger size. This is a very controversial bag because I did a video about this as one of my worst purchases. But then now I'm like thinking, will anyone even buy it? Because most of the people who follow me, they have watched the video and they've seen this. So I'm having a hard time selling this actually. And every time I post this on my Instagram, people remember the video that I did. And so I think we are destined to be together. Let me just remind you guys about what I said. I said that it reminded me of a toilet <laughs> because of this part. And that has turned off a lot of people. I mean, I liked it for a while, but it was a sale impulse purchase. So I just snapped it up real quick without really thinking about it. But yeah, I think we will be together forever <laughs> because no one would want to buy this. Next is this bag from Furla. This was gifted to me when I did a project for Furla. And this is really pretty actually. I love the lock enclosure. It is uh, very different. And there's so much space inside. There's even like a smaller pocket here. And there's a big space here. Actually, since it was gifted to me last Christmas, I haven't really been able to use this because for the most part of January, I was in Europe. February, March, this whole pandemic happened and so I wasn't really able to use this and I think I should use this. It looks really cute and it has a different vibe I think from my other bags. I will use this and see what I decide on after. It is such a cute bag. Okay, on to our black bags. This is one of my favorite bags in the world. Of course, I got this for my birthday. This is the Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse. I was choosing between the monogram and this one, and I ended up choosing this one. And I'm so glad I did, actually, because it looks very classy and it's very me. I found that the monogram print wore me instead of me wearing the bag and so i'm glad that i chose this one it's very subtle and it's made of leather this is definitely a keeper for me i love the lock i love everything about it i've used this for about two years now and it still looks brand new love this okay next is the givenchy antigona mini uh, i got this full price at the store retail store here in in the Philippines and it was so expensive. I remember it being so expensive. I'm looking at the prices now and I'm like, how come it went down? It's really so strange. Anyway, I have this bag and I have used this bag. As you can see, it has been used very well. I have some nicks and scratches and marks. Um, it has maintained its shape and I'm very happy that I got this bag. It's a nice sturdy black bag and the shape 
allows you to put a lot inside. I'm glad that I got it in the mini size, but I just wish that I got it pre-loved. If you want this bag, just buy it pre-loved. It's so much cheaper. It's like one third of the price from what I bought it and Gosh, I'm still regretting that actually. Anyway, I chalked it up to cost per wear and hopefully I was able to get my money's worth already. Okay, next up is the Safiano leather bag from Prada. It uh, You can wear it in two ways. You can wear it as a shoulder strap or you can wear it as a crossbody bag. This is very cute and it was love at first sight for me. I saw it from across the room and I love how simple it looks. Still smells so good. I love how simple it looks and it just looks so good with any outfit actually. It is such a pretty bag and really effortless to wear. The Sakiano leather is indestructible and I am very happy with this bag. The next is a bag that I truly love. This is like my top one, my favorite bag I think from all my collection and it is the Chanel classic flap in size small in a vintage, of course. I bought it vintage. This is from the early 90s and it is in such a good condition. I'm so happy that I got this. I love how it still looks puffy. Some have deflated, but overall it is still puffy. I love the vintage vibe that it has. This is definitely a keeper and I love this bag so much. Okay, so this bag, I was looking for this bag all over uh, Italy when, when I went last year. And I finally found it in Paris. This is the Prada reissue from 2005. And I love that you can wear it in many ways. You can wear it like this. And it comes with a thick strap that is very iconic, I guess. It's really what makes the bag stand out. It has the Prada strap. And of course, the little uh, pochette or the little pouch that comes with it. This is always going to be a classic Prada shape. And it's an iconic part of the 90s. And I grew up in the 90s and so this is always going to be a very special bag for me. Yeah, I really love this bag and I'm definitely keeping this forever. This one is a Stella McCartney bag. This is a... Uh, not sure about the name because it has a different shape to the Falabella. This is just such a headache to use because the, the chain is just so heavy and the, the material is just so light that when my things are inside, it just loses its shape. And it's hard to get things. It's hard to find things, even though this is so small. Whenever I use this, the chain is so heavy on my shoulder, and then I get marks in my shoulder, and then I can't find anything. It's like so heavy, and it's so hard to like, although it's pretty, it is hard to use. It's so heavy. Okay, next up is this Nina Ricci bag that I found in Baguio. I found it in an Ukay Ukay. I got it for a really good price and it is made of real leather. This part is so cute. It has a ribbon, a gold ribbon. I don't think I can sell this though because I have used this since the early 2000s and this was like my first like designer designer bag which I found in Baguio and I was so proud and I was just using this everywhere. You can use it as a clutch or you can use it you can change the, the strap. It holds so many memories for me, especially like when I was going out a lot. I would always use this, like I've spilled drinks on this. And this has seen a lot of um, evenings, fun evenings. And I can't, I don't think I can let go of this. Okay, next up is a belt bag. This is from the brand Claire V. And it is made of snakeskin leather. This part is made of super soft leather. And every time I wear this, it looks so cool. It looks so cool. I really love this design. It's really so fun and it looks so chic. This is one of the few belt bags that I own. And I can fit a lot in this. I can actually fit my wallet and my phone in this. So that's a lot. And for my last one, this is from Furla. And this is like a sling bag. And I love the color. It just looks cool. Like when I wear it, you can feel the sturdiness of the chain, but it's not that heavy. 
and you can put a lot inside as well I can fit my phone here and the leather is super nice okay so I almost forgot this last bag it is called the Chanel XL tote and I got this from Fashion File some years ago I'm so happy with this bag it is actually quite comfortable when I use it and it looks so cool I love this chain detail over here and the leather itself is super lightweight and I can put so much inside this is like a perfect uh, XL tote and I love that it's Chanel, it's CC here, and it's from the 90s. So yeah, it's so elegant and so cool. This is a yes for me, of course. I'm keeping this forever. Okay, so I've made piles of what I'm going to keep and what I'm going to sell or give away to family and friends. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with the editing. Let me show you the piles that I made. So this is my key pile. These are all my luxury designer brands. These are my formal bags or small bags. These are all my beach bags mixed in with some local bags and mid-range bags that I love. These are more beach bags that I want to keep. These are the bags that I'm currently working with. They are new and I want to keep using them. And these are all the bags that are going. And these are my big bags, which uh, I'm keeping because I use them a lot when I travel. Okay, so there you have it. I have edited quite a number of bags. I didn't bother to count them anymore because I would just be more stressed, I think. But I'm glad that I'm able to make quite a big pile of uh, things that I'm going to declutter. And... I hope that I have more room or more space in my closet for my bags to rest comfortably because at this moment they are sort of like one on top of the other and I try to make make the most of every inch of, of the space so yeah I'm, I'm very happy with how I was able to edit out my bag collection I'm gonna try to do like a storage how I store my bag video after it goes hand in hand with this one so yeah that's it i hope you like this one and i will see you in my next video um, don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below what else you would like to see i'll see you in my next video bye